Hello and welcome to tonight's episode of the Reaction Chair Uncut. I'll be your host, Brandon Buccalo, and tonight we're going to be doing some video game trailer reactions. Uh, right now I'm going to be getting into another one for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This one's called the, uh, the Final Preview trailer from IGN. And it's about a week old, but I uh, haven't seen any of these, and I'm going to be playing this game soon. Probably going to wait for the new console to come out um, and get it on that console. But uh, I'm pretty psyched about this game, dude. I'm a really big fan of Assassin's Creed. Uh, the the last ones, latest ones on my mind, Fresh, or obviously Odyssey and Origins. They changed things up a little bit. I do hope we kind of get back to the older Assassin's Creed. So I would like that. But without any further ado, everybody, let's get into this. And here we go. The last time Assassin's Creed broke from its yearly Okay, okay, so they're talking about Assassin's Origins. Creed Origins. Dude, the that game, game was sick, bro. The direction of the series from an open world stealth action Let me know down in the comment section, did you like Origins? RPG that rivals the scope of games like The Witcher, Red Dead Redemption 2, and so on. Assassin's I like the storyline on uh, only the third Odyssey better than Origins, but Origins was sick, dude. History of the series, and while it doesn't upend the series the way that Origins, sliding down the pyramids was a little underwhelming, though. <laughs> on hours with it, is that Valhalla is significant? How big is this fucking open world gonna be, man? I can't even imagine. One might initially think. The final preview. You can tell so far too. This is going to be a good storyline. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which makes you care about the characters so much more. Is that traditional side quests are no more? You won't travel to a new area, talk to everyone with Definitely going to be streaming this live, so uh, if you do are interested in my gaming channel, just click below, click on the and subscribe to the uh, gaming share and cut, click the notification bell, so you know when I put up my live streams for all these new games that are coming out on the new consoles. It's going to be badass, guys. Let's do it. Let's play. Or white that pinpoint those activities. The yellow dots correspond to a side activity that will reward you with some sort of tangible item. Some gold, a new piece of gear, or a book of knowledge oh, that shit. either teaches or upgrades. I definitely like drinking beers when I play my video games, so cruise by, get, have a beer with me, we'll fucking play some video games together. To a heavily guarded fortress Shit'll with be dope. Large chests, while a smaller yellow dot might represent a single chest hidden behind a minor locked door puzzle. White dots represent artifacts, which are traditional collectibles. If you like Destiny, I'll be doing a Destiny trailer later tonight for Beyond Light. So just subscribe and click on that bell for this cha channel here, and my reaction will be up there for sure. Ah, oh, dude, I hope the the fighting is a little bit like the older style games. World events are incredibly varied and could be anything: a quick mini game involving stacking Cairn stones, a short encounter with an often uh, unusual NPC. Oh shit. Or a boss fight against a mythical creature. Let's let's pause Yeah, for a hopefully they have the mythical the creatures unusual. like like they had on Odyssey. Dude, that was badass. Because one other huge departure from other Assassin's Creed games is that these world events are more often than not <laughs> Hilariously bizarre. In yeah, see, event, this guy already has the, the game because he's the reviewing it. Who presumably wanted to eat them just so she can unleash a nasty fart for the people above ground to suffer through. He's VIP. <laughs> so something like this, dude. You yeah, have to play it on the new console, or you're doing yourself a disservice. Pretending to be in trouble and having people save her. And in another still, I ate some <laughs> that's bad ass, found dude. myself in a field with seals, watching what? them directly tripping out on shrooms, man. Sequence. When asked about this change in tone, lead quest designer Philip Bergeron told me that you need peaks and valleys when you're telling a story Makes in sense. order to appreciate the stronger human stories. And that by positioning world events in this way, it gave the developers opportunities to deal with other subjects. He said that when you're dealing with warfare and the politics that come with the Viking Age, it gets somber very quickly. Yeah, so, dude, this is the one of those type of games where you could just get lost in the gameplay for days. Of sunshine here Not come out of your room. And true enough, I found myself giggling way more like my fiance is gonna be wondering where the hell I'm at one other upside to this change is that it makes exploration like much uh, more I'm just playing a different world. realm there's no longer a massive backlog of side quests to complete so you can just explore at your leisure and complete these world events as you come across them 
Bergeron said that early on... A little worried though, guys. I fucked up. I didn't put my pre-order in time for the new consoles and... ...with the same formula. I don't so know when I'm going to be able to get them. That felt like a checklist of things to do. They put things in broader buckets. If anybody watching has a line on how I can make sure I get the PS5 and the, the new Xbox when they drop, let me know because I want them. I want them right away. What's nice too is that this pivot allows Ubisoft to devote more effort into Valhalla's main quest. I was told that the team took the budget that they typically dedicate to side content and, and no fucking like sure that the main content had jingle all the way story. fake so turbo man shit everybody who knows what the reference i'm talking about arnold schwarzenegger turbo man another one of valhalla's oh. the series is the fact that your bird will no longer spot enemies for you in prior games it could right. be an entire encampment kind of made it a little too easy didn't it even allowing you to see them through walls. It was a tactic that Bergeron described as an almost press the button to win kind of scenario. This time around, the team wants to create a more cohesive cool. synergy between you and your bird. In Valhalla, your raven can get you an overhead view of an enemy encampment and scout out potential enemies. It's not going to show you where every single fucking enemy is. <laughs> are, you'll need to be physically near the area. Oof. It's going to be more like the original Assassin's enemies, Creed, dude. I'm going to like this. In, and they're bringing back the hidden blade? Valhalla Come on, man. Vision to highlight all jack enemies in a circle around you. And, of course, one of the most talked about... Yes! Yes! Which can, once again, instantly kill most, but not all, unsuspecting foes. With all of these pieces working together oh. with Eivor's bow that can be powered up with a multitude of skills, there's Sick, no shortage bro. of stealth tools in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Once blades start clashing, things are pretty familiar, like though there what? are a few very notable differences in combat. For one, each ah, character has a stun so it's going to be kind of hard to play. And you can choose to go after either one by tailoring your combat style. Take a more defensive approach by going for counters, and you'll chip away at the enemy's stun bar. Oh, that's badass. To execute a powerful finishing move for huge damage that can kill an enemy outright. Or just take a more traditional approach by just swinging your weapon at whatever moves, and you'll hack away at an enemy's health bar. But there is a wide variety of special enemy types, each with unique behaviors and attack patterns. So wow. you have to tailor your combat based on the enemy you're fighting. One other big change in Valhalla is how it handles loot. In Origins and Odyssey, you oh. are essentially showered with loot Shit. from beginning to end. That's changing in Valhalla, as Ubisoft adopts a more quality, cool, cool, quality cool. approach to your hard-earned spoils. One of the goals of the dev team from the get-go was to have the player... Hell yeah, the give us those exotics! So they Had to work hard for them, but they'll be fucking badass. Range of different gear and You'll be godly. You You'll be like Thor! Allowing you to find and invest in the place home sweet home. At its core, oh, Assassin's dude, Creed just Valhalla playing, is like, watching this trailer is making me so hyped for this. I just want to go play. My my uh, fiance got me Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and I have never played it. Talk with important characters, upgrade your gear, and upgrade the various structures of the settlement itself. I would stream it, but it's on my Xbox, and I don't have that set up for streaming. What's nice about the settlement is that everything you need to do in the open world kind of feeds back into it. You see the progression of your settlement mirrored in your own personal progression. When you raid a town and collect gold and supplies, those supplies can be used to improve your settlement and make it feel more like your own personal home. Admittedly, Shit, it's hard dude. to see just how deep the development of your settlement is. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be even hours, more to this game than the other ones. It's a nice change to have all the vendors you need centralized in one place. You have so much shit to, to do. The map to find the nearest blacksmith. Ultimately, I ended my hands-on experience with Assassin's Creed Valhalla very hopeful. I really dig the large high-level changes. Raid completed. And the reasoning behind each Raids, of what? There are Copying Destiny or something? Enemy AI and general bugginess in the combat that I'd like to see cleaned up before launch. But above all else, my six hours of playtime made me breathe a sigh of relief. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is absolutely not just a retread. Good, of good, good. Oh, Ocean. look at the. It's an exciting departure from the, what's already the fucking from nature, Assassin's dude. Creed Valhalla, make sure to check out our graphics. Looks sick. Else, keep it here on IGN. Oh, I guess that's it, everybody. Well, shit. Thanks for stopping by and checking this out with me. Uh, I'm gonna be doing. There's like one more. Oh, it's right here. It's the official post-launch trailer, so if you're interested in me reacting to that, just click below, subscribe to the channel, it'll be up right after these. Uh, I'll be doing a Destiny trailer later too. 
I know I'm going to plug this too, but if you guys are uh, interested in uh, Walking Dead reactions, I'm going to be start to watch the new Walking Dead, uh, Walking Dead uh, World Beyond tonight and tomorrow. I'm going to be reacting to the all the episodes and Fear the Walking Dead as well. The new episode comes out or came out today, but uh, I had to wait till tomorrow because I bought all my shit on Voodoo. So. But, uh, hey, everybody, thanks for cruising by. If you do want to get in with my gaming uh, channel, just click down below, subscribe to the Gaming Chair Uncut. Right now I'm playing The Last of Us 2 uh, for the first time ever. I just uh, played it, uh, saw Joel die horribly at the hands of Abby. It crushed my heart. Uh, but I'm ready to get into that game and fuck beat the shit out of it with, with Ellie. I said it right that time. I keep saying Allie. Cool, guys. Thanks for cruising by, and I'll see you next time. Peace.